it's been a nightmare. Something freaky is afoot. For me, that is a huge non-scale victory. I got on the scale this morning and I did lose. Welcome to weekly weigh-in number 15. Um, as you can see, today's weigh-in is going to look a little bit different. Um, it's Sunday afternoon and I am headed over to my family's for Sunday dinner. Probably won't be over there very long because I'm having issues. <laughs> uh, for those of you who have watched my um, How I Got Fat video, you'll know that I have some pretty intense challenges with my menstrual cycle and I've had um, issues since I was 12 years old. And one of those challenges is that I have days where, well, let's just say that my flow is so bad and so heavy that I am basically bedridden. Um, and that's how I've been for the past about 48 hours I have been in bed this entire time just because my flow has been that bad. It literally gets to the point where any time that I stand up, sit down, like shift my hips or in like when I'm sleeping at night, any time that I turn from one side to the other, I have to get up and like run to the bathroom. No, 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 not run, sprint. So I have just been in bed basically since Friday night. And again, before anybody goes and like calls emergency services, um, this is something that I have been dealing with in some form or fashion since I was 12 years old. All of my doctors and my gynecologists since then have known about it. I've had many an appointment and test and ultrasound and everything else that you could have. <laughs> in order to try and figure out like what's going on. That's how I was actually diagnosed with PCOS and endometriosis. And they think that endometriosis is like the root cause behind it. Um, I've also been on literally every birth control known to man and had to deal with all of the rebound bleeding every single time one didn't work and we had to switch to another. Ugh. It's just, it's been a nightmare. Um, Basically what they have told me is that the only way to get it to stop completely is a hysterectomy. And I don't know, it's just not something that I have been able to convince myself to do yet. Especially since it doesn't happen as often as it did in like my teens and early 20s. Like I think this is the first time in maybe two or three months that it's been this bad. But I still wanted to go over to my family's for Sunday dinner because my mom is making um, this pasta. I, I never can pronounce this right, but it's pasta a la Amatrashiana. <laughs> like I said, I, I cannot pronounce it correctly, um, but it's, I love that dish. And so I was like, oh, I'll go over. It's probably good for me to like finally get up and move a little bit and I figured why not just do my weekly check-in and film it while I'm driving over there although I am stopping through Walmart grocery pickup because I was bringing the um, San Marzano tomatoes and the garlic bread for tonight so that's another reason I'm going is because I had already ordered some of the groceries for it before I realized how bad it was going to be. All right, just picked up the groceries. So we are going to head over to Mama Warrior's house. Um, it's actually 54 degrees outside. I don't know what's going on, but something, something freaky is afoot. So I decided I'm going to get back on the scale. However, I think for the time being, I'm just going to, during the weekly weigh-ins, I'm just going to tell you like, how much I lost, gained, or if I just stayed the same, um, and just keep like my weight to myself for the time being. Just, I don't know, just kind of help me out a little bit mentally as well. Um, so 
I did want to share with you guys though because I got on the scale this morning and I did lose 0.6 pounds this week so I will take it <laughs> um, especially because it wasn't like I did amazing on my diet or working out that's for sure um, I mean is there a part of me that's like 0.6 pounds ugh absolutely but I think for just like the next couple weeks, at least through Christmas time, my only goal is going to be not to gain anymore. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to worry if I only lose like a pound a week, like whatever. Because right now I'm just focused on de-stressing a little bit and taking care of my mental health and my physical health, obviously. So yeah, I'm not going to stress out about the amount I lose or I don't lose. Uh, my only goal is going to be not to gain, <laughs> at least through Christmas time. And I didn't gain this week. I lost 0 0.6 pounds. I will take it over gaining any more weight. <laughs> That's for sure. As for non-scale victories, I don't have a lot to share this week. I feel like the biggest non-scale victory is that I did not binge this week. I definitely had my moments where I could have gone off the rails, but I didn't. So that's a win in my book. Um, and even like on Monday, so non-scale victory number two would be like on Monday when I ordered the pizza. I did like a controlled satisfying of my craving and I just ordered a small pizza and then I got my pinkity trinkity with it, um, which actually was way less calories than getting um, a Pepsi would have been. Let me see, what else? I think non-scale victory number three is that I may not have worked out as much as I was working out before, but I still got up and I tried to move every single day for at least 20 minutes and that was usually like 10 to 15 minutes of a walk away the pounds and then like five to ten minutes of a dance party obviously yesterday and today that did not happen because yeah <laughs> um i've barely been able to move without having to run straight to the bathroom but i'm proud of myself for at least getting up and doing that Non-school victory number four is that I have really been trying to focus on ways to like de-stress and reduce some of these feelings of overwhelm that I've been feeling. And I've even been prioritizing that over like weight loss, which in the past I never would have done. It would have been weight loss, weight loss, weight loss is number one. But being able to take a step back and say, no, like I'm never going to get anywhere unless I focus on my mental and emotional health first. So that's definitely a non-scale victory, I think. And I think non-scale victory number five would just be that even though I have not been feeling not only not motivated, but not dedicated at all to my weight loss goals, I still didn't binge this week. I still got up and moved a little bit every day. Like I've still been headed in that direction, which is, I feel like a huge success to be able to show myself that even when I'm not even feeling dedicated, I can at least continue taking baby steps in the right direction, which I just feel is a huge success. And being able to prove that to myself that even when I'm not even feeling dedicated to my weight loss goals, I can still be moving forward, even if it's like baby, baby, baby steps in the right direction. For me, that is a huge non-scale victory. And then I just think that non-scale victory number six is that I am trying to be very patient and compassionate and forgiving of myself. Like I am really trying to meet myself where I'm at and not beat myself up over, you know, binging and everything else not working out like I had been. I'm just accepting it and moving on and trying to see it as a learning opportunity rather than a failure. All right, warriors. So that is it for weekly weigh-in number 15. Um, I hope you guys didn't mind the fact that I did it while I was driving. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful week and thank you guys so much for your support. I know I've said this quite a few times, but I am so 
so beyond grateful to you guys for your support and understanding like it it means the world to as me. usual if you enjoyed this video let me know by subscribing and giving it two thumbs way way up and make sure to tap on that notification bell so you can join me next time bye everyone mm -hmm.